Hey, hey everyone, I am S2, or more appropriately Syntax2, and I'm delighted to have you with me today to play some Hearthstone. We, um, as you can see, the arena button's very shiny, because we got a free token to enter the arena, which um, we shall do in a minute. However, I have four packs to open, and I figure we'll do that, and we'll enter the arena and draft a deck, and... We'll make that the episode, and then after that, I'm going to record a couple of arena matches for us to go for. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what the rare is. Ah, I got it's an auctioneer. Always a good card to have around. Met a couple of those. Ah, Mad Bomber, Cruel Taskmaster, Summoning Portal, and a Youthful Brewmaster. Not terrible at all. As you also might have noticed, I have a lot of gold. I actually played... Um, Played a little ranked, and I got unlocked a few of my uh, quests. So I, I got uh, and I got the 100 wins uh, achievement that gave me 300 gold. So I figured, you know, I'd uh, catch up a little and uh, get some decks, and then save some for some more arena runs. That should be fun. Let's see what our second pack entails. We have an ancient brewmaster. Now I have two of those. Raging Worgen. Argent Protector. It's actually a pretty nice card. You can give Divine Shield to anything. And it's a 2-2. Very, very cool. Uh, Light Spawn. Priest card. This minion's attack is always equal to its health. Very, very dangerous when combined with um, plus health cards. And our rare is the Crazed Alchemist. Which, swatches, which swaps the attack and health of a minion. That card can be very, very brutal in the right... So, um, in the right setup. Ooh, we've got an epic. That's all right. Let's save it for last, though. We have a uh, redemption. Secret: When one of your minions die, return it to health. Return it to life with one health. I can't talk today, can I? Ah, demon fire. Love that. And a rampage. And a rare is an angry chicken. I still don't really understand how to get that enraged properly. I think you might have to do some sort of uh, either zero damage or some kind of uh, plus to health. Maybe Divine Shield will work. I don't know. And our epic is Ice Block. Secret. When your hero takes fatal damage, prevent it and become immune this turn. Hmm. That seems... This is a good card, I suppose, as a last resort, but it seems very situational. It's almost like you're counting on getting that low. Repentance. When your opponent plays a minion, reduce itself to one. Two of two repentances. Wow, look at that. Another Rampage. Does that give me three of those? I don't know. Oh, a Mogashan Warden. A very nice taunt, actually, because it only costs four and has seven health. It's always cool. An Aldor Peacekeeper is our rare, which is a battle cry that changes a minion's attack to one. Not something to complain about there, I'll tell you that much. Alright, that was our four packs, let's go into the arena with our free voucher. And then we have enough to go in there twice again, and maybe even maybe even more so after we've been in the arenas, depending on what awards we get for it. Hmm, what should we play? I don't want to play the rogue. The rogue feels very meh right now. Um, I don't know if I'm right about that, but uh, I haven't really felt it with the rogue that much. I, I have played some druid, the druid is it's fun has some interesting cards and combinations. I do I do like the mage. The mage is fun. It has a lot of um, a lot of nukes. And nukes are always fun. You know what? I am um, No, I, I am going for that. Let's go for the mage. Let's go for the mage and see what kind of deck we can scrape together. Um Murloc. Nah. Twilight Drake or Secret Keeper. When a secret is played, gain plus one plus one. Hmm, that, that would be good if I have, you know, a lot of secrets around. Very situational card. I'd rather have the Twilight Drake, which gain one health for each card in your hand. That can be very powerful in the right circumstance. I think I'm going to go for a Fireball just to keep it around. It's always good to have uh, have that card there. Flame Strike is a good card, but it costs seven. And the Sorcerer's Apprentice, I might not get that again in it. I really do like the Source of Princess because of the cheaper spell cost. I think we should get an Arcane Intellect in there. Um, Battlecry. 
Du -du -du -du. Yes, we can go for a Thralmor Force here. That Wind Fury is always nice. Freeze any character damaged by this minion, a Snow Chugger. That's not that's not bad. It's uh, probably another mage card, just like the uh, elemental. And then you got the young dragon hawk with the wind fury one one. But I feel like a lord of the arena is in place. It's it's yes, that should fit very nicely right here. Um, it could be nice to have a turn one card. So um, a leper gnome is always good for that. Polymorph, of course. It's a wonderful card. To get rid of some of those um, more dangerous things. It's a good get out of jail free card almost. Except it's not free and it's not jail. Genius. Stone Splinter Trog. Whenever you cast your opponent casts a spell, gain one attack. Interesting. And it's only two and it's a two, three out. I think I'm going for that. Never seen that before, but I'll go for it. Ah, here we got some rare cards. Um, Arcane Nullifier. Taunt. Cannot be targeted by spells or hero powers. Ooh, I like that. Extra spell pa extra spell damage. 3-3. Three, three, 3 mana. And 6 mana for... Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. Gadgets and Auctioneer is a good card, but it is a little bit on the pricey side. I feel like the Arcane Nullifier is a pretty cool card because you have to get rid of it with creatures, which means it's a very effective taunt. However, it's always nice to get the extra spell damage out. And a 3-3 three, three is a... Well, this is a difficult one. No, I think I'm going to have to go for the taunt. It's always nice to have a taunt card. When in doubt, don't ask me. Um, Spiteful Smith. In rage, your weapon has plus two attack. Oh, wow, your weapon has plus two. Does that mean my weapon or does it mean the minion's weapon? No, it must mean the weapon. That's an interesting enrage, but I'm a mage, so I'm not going to use any weapons. So that's kind of fairly, fairly useless for us. Minions with battle cry cost two more. Hmm, that's an interesting card to play out if you don't use a lot of battle cries. I suppose the stone skilled gargoyle is what I'm gonna have to go for here. I don't like that necessarily too much. I think it's a fairly weak card for what you get, but um, I suppose we'll have to make do with it. Do I want another arcane intellect or do I want the frost elemental? Or the storm wind champion, that's a very good card too. Good question. All good questions. Um, I think I'll go for another Arcane Intellect, just to make sure we can pick up those cards when we need them. Death Rattle. Summon a random two-cost minion. Ah, that's pretty cool. Kind of like that. In fact, I'm going to pick it. It's a pretty good card. Pretty cool card. Haunted Creeper. Do we need any more low-cost minions? Hmm. Don't really like these cards, unless you can buff them up with something else, so yeah, I'll go for the Haunted Creeper. It's always nice to have a little... Um, to have more low-cost cards. Here we have... Ah, look at this. We have um, some rare cards. Gnomish Experimenter? Experimenter? <laughs> Experimenter? Battle Cry, draw a card. If it is a minion, transform it into a chicken. <laughs> Alright. Vaporize. When a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. Can be extremely powerful, can also be fairly useless. Counterspell. When your opponent casts a spell, counter it. Mm, I like that. That can really destroy some combos, if used in the right moment. Now, what do we have here? Whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain two attack. I think I'm going to go for that, actually. Trog. We need a couple of more uh, higher cost cards at this point. I think I'm going to go for the Mogashan Warden. It's a very nice taunt. Now here, Jeeves. Oh, these are rare cards again. Jeeves, at the end of each player's turn, that player draws until they have three cards. What? At the end of each player's turn, that player draws until they have three cards. Ah, right, if they don't have... Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very good if you are low on cards. I'm not hoping I won't be, but... Matter Bomber. Battle cry, deal six damage randomly split between all other characters. Wow. Or after you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. You know what? I'm gonna go for Mad Bomber. Seems fairly random and hilarious. Uh, Acolyte of Pain, Scarlet Crusader, or Snow Sugar? Uh, you know what? Acolyte of Pain. Get some more cards. More rares. Suit Spewer, extra spell damage. Mana Wraith, all minions cost one more. 
can be good if you're not planning on playing minions. And then the Kirintor Mage, the next secret you play this turn, costs zero. Unfortunately, we don't have a shit ton of um, spells in this, or uh, secrets here. I think we have one, or maybe two. I really should pay more attention to this. Yeah, we have one secret, so I don't feel like that's worth it. I think I'm going to go for the Suit Spewer. Spell damage is always nice, and it is a 3-3 for only three, so that, that is fairly nice. Cogmaster costs one, has two attack while you have a mech. Fortunately, we don't have any mechs, I don't think. The Venture Co. Mercenary, which uh, your minions cost three more. That's a fairly interesting card, because it only costs five to play out, and it's a 7-6. It is in your opponent's interest to get rid of it, but at the same time... They don't want to get rid of it, because it makes you your other minions cost three more. It's an interesting trade-off. I think I'm going to go for it, just to see what happens. Seems like a, a fairly fun, or if not random, idea. What is our mana balance? Mm, heavily skewed towards 3 and 4. We might want to go for something a bit cheaper, like a mana worm. Or an elven archer. I think elven archer will win that one. Undertaker, whenever you summon a minion with a frattle, gain plus 1, plus 1. We don't have a lot of Death Rattle minions, unfortunately. But we do... Mm, I do like the Frost Wolf Warlord. We gain plus one, plus one for every other friendly minion on the battlefield. That can be very, very good. But, in the interest of getting a few more low-cost cards... Hmm. should probably get the Argent Squire. However, I... I don't know. I might go for the Frost Wolf Warlord. Yeah, I, I think I will. Uh, Giblin Stalker. Ah, Stealth. 2, 3 for 2. That's not bad. Flesh Eating Ghoul. 3 mana. Whenever a minion dies, gain 1 attack. That's pretty cool. Um, in fact, that's very cool. I'm going to go for it. Even though my... <laughs> wow. Right. I need to get more cheap cards, I said. And then I took a 3. And now I'm going to take another 3 because I want the extra spell damage. Oh, man. Actually, the Shield Bearer is a fairly good taunt. I mean, it doesn't do any damage, but it is a fairly nice wall, so I will do that. Should we go for Mirror Image? It's always nice to have those extra taunts out. But the Polymorph... I got one Polymorph. Yeah, I'll have two of those. Frostbolt, 3-3, three, three, do 3 damage to a character and freeze it. Or Cone of Cold. Freeze a minion and the minions next to it and deal 1 damage to him. Hmm... Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I mean, the freezing here is very nice, I will admit. So yes, let's go for that and get even more mid-cost cards. Because why not? Dread Corsair, taunt. Cost one less per attack of your weapon. Don't have any weapons. Fairly useless to us. And Mana Worm and Snow Chugger. I think I'm going to go for Snow Chugger. Seems like the uh, best idea here. Oh. Alright, this is a choice. We got the Mad Scientist, which uh, you put a secret from your deck into the battlefield when it dies, like a death rattle, which is very cool. I don't have that many secrets, though. I only have one, as far as I remember. I could get another secret, which is Mirror Entity, which can be an incredibly powerful card in the right hands. Or I could get another Sorcerer's Apprentice to make even cheaper spells. Mm. I think I'm going for Mirror Entity. Because, um, yeah, it just seems like the right choice. Now we got the Wailing Soul. Battle Cry, silence your other minions. That can be both good and bad, depending on the situation, of course. I mean, if you have cards like the... Um, don't know what it's called? I... Uh, it's a, it's a... It can't attack, right? It's it's like a 6-6 six, six or something, but it can't attack. And if you, if, you, if you use this, it would silence it, so it could attack. For example. So you got the Cold Light Seer. All other... Give all other Murlocs plus 2 health. Pretty cool. And you got Arcane Nullifier, of which I already have one, but I guess I will have two now. And that's the entire deck. Well, there we go. I don't know if this turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. I have a lot of three and four cost cards. One six cost card, three five cost cards, nothing on seven or above, no zero cost cards, and only three one cost cards. And only four two cost cards. Hmm. It's, a, it's a very, very mid-centric deck, which can be both interesting or 
um, very, very bad. At any rate, we will find out on the next episode where I will take a, this deck out for a for a spin. All right. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you next time.